I'm Radeep, coming from Beirut. Uh, I'm an artist who works with uh, different mediums like video, video installations and cinema. And here I'm participating with uh, my new short film, uh, Mondial 2010. And the film talks, uh, tells the story of a gay couple who decided to, um, to, to go for, to spend the weekend in Ramallah, from Beirut to Ramallah. Um, it's, a, it's a road movie where we follow this couple during their journey. Uh, knowing that this journey is impossible uh, in reality as Lebanese are not able to cross the border uh, uh, from Lebanon to Palestine, uh, knowing that uh, Lebanon and Israel are two, two, uh, two, two countries in, uh, in a war situation. Ibrahim. هلا لما نوصل على الاوتيل بيكون احسن اكيد اذا نطلب اوضه بتختين هيك شو؟ اوضه بتختين؟ ليه؟ شو ليه؟ لانه نجنب مشاكل لما يسالوا انت بتعرف كل مره اي مشاكل وجايين نقضي فرصه ما حدا بيعرفنا بالاوتيل بالضبط جايين نقضي فرصه ليه بدنا نغرق بالخبصه هلا؟ شو ما عم بفهم يوسف عن جد؟ يعني انا عين المفاهيم بخصوصي مشان نتفادى هيك نوع بارانويا على الفاضي شو في؟ ايييي ابراهيم كانه انا ما عبالي انه نايم حط بعض يعني خلص مش مشكلة بسيطة صار نتحمل انه كل يوم الصبح نلعب لعبة انه نخربط التخت الثاني كرمال ما ننكشف يعني الله شو حتصير لك منك مغروم على فكرة هل ذا بين سكرينينغز اوف يور موفي سو فار؟ يا اتس اي اون ساتردي ات واز ان ذا كوير شورتس ات ذا سينماكس 3 It was a very interesting screening because I have never seen. It's in fact it's premiering here in Berlin. So world premiere. Yeah, so I haven't seen it on big screen and in Cinemax 3 it was like very big. Mm -hmm. It was like wow, okay. <laughs> and uh, yesterday I had in Arsenal the official screening when the forum expanded and uh, with the Q and A after. Mm -hmm. It was it was very good. I the feedback and uh, the Q and A after the film was uh, was very very interesting. I was mm. so happy with the screening, and I even went to it's it's uh, it's showing in the uh, in the gallery. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the name of the gallery, but uh, it's on uh, it's in the video lounge on uh, on Loop. So mm -hmm. I also went there, and it was it was good. Mm -hmm. I still have. Next Saturday in the Teddy Roll uh, yeah. screen. Yeah, all the Teddy shorts are. Yeah, yeah exactly, when they're combined. Um, but I mean, you did not only shoot the movie, but you are also part of the movie, right? I mean, it's you that we're here talking, isn't it? No, no, no. Ah, it's no, not. I worked, okay. I worked with actors, in fact. Oh, okay, because that was. I assumed that it was sort of very personal, that it was you in the car filming all the time, and then that was the movie. So you worked with actors? I worked with actors. Yeah, in fact, okay. Uh, it's impossible to be me, in fact, and filming. Uh, and this is a decision that I took. Like, there's, there's an information where, um, as a Lebanese, I'm not allowed to go to Palestine. Okay. I can't cross the borders as um, from from 57, uh, Lebanon and Israel is declared in two countries in war. In mm -hmm. war. So uh, we're not allowed to cross the borders, uh, the Israeli borders, to be able to go to the to the West Bank to Palestine. So, um, so as a Lebanese, I'm I never was in Ramallah, and I don't think that soon I will be in Ramallah. Mm -hmm. So, and this was the main uh, idea behind uh, the whole the whole structure of the film. And in the beginning, I was aiming to put by the end of the film like a sentence that's, that mentioned this information. Yeah. Then, frankly, I decided not to put it by the end because I thought it, is, it would look like a bit like... Uh, and this film was based on true story, which I hate usually, mm -hmm. by when the films end by, by this. So uh, I decided not to mention this information. And I, I, don't, I don't remember if in this synopsis I mentioned it somewhere. So if somebody come across, he will know this detail. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, so... Okay. But how, how could you direct the movie then if you were not with them? Is, I mean, how did you do that? Okay, it is, uh, it is a long process, in fact. I've been working on a big project from three years. 
now and uh, in fact I've been meeting uh, Palestinians coming from the f uh, several cities in Palestine uh, in Jordan in a city called Ajloun and uh, I've meeting there for uh, them there every year in summer uh, for a different project, totally different project and it was like a long summer school uh, on three years. So, um, and so I took the opportunity to start uh, working with them on, like with working with a few people there, uh, asking them every time they go back to Palestine to film uh, in their city, mm -hmm. like to take the camera and um, to shoot uh, as if I was with them there. Where, where they would want to take me. Like if they want to go to a bar and have a drink or to a cafe or like have a, to have a walk. So just take the camera and don't comment. Uh, just film what's mm -hmm. happening. And for like three years I was collecting all those uh, materials. Every time I come, I meet them in Jordan, I take the material. I used to take some audio interview with them also and come back to Beirut. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I ended up having like something like 15 hours of rushes from different cities. Um, and th th there's a project that I did from like one or one year and a half. It's a video installation that used some of those footage mm -hmm. that's coming from Haifa. Um, but it, it was experimental v video installation. Um, and here I decided that I want to do something, to work something on Ramallah. And uh, I decided to go for a fictional work where there's a script and uh, I'm, there's a story that I'm telling. Um, so the idea started from here and uh, <clears throat> I started like revisiting all the rushes that I have from Ramallah that are more like than five hours mm -hmm. and uh, start writing the script. And uh, in fact, it was going in parallel, like sometimes um, Mainly in the beginning, I was I, I knew what is the frame and how I want to like choose the characters and uh, what's the main plot. Then after some scenes, that while watching them, they were like leading me to some actions happening. Mm -hmm. So it was like developing in a parallel way. And um, once it was done, I worked with actors in Beirut, two actors, uh, Ziad Shakarun and Abd Abaisi. And uh, we recorded the audio, mm -hmm. in fact, in Beirut, uh, the dialogues, all the dialogues. And, um, and here it was then the editing and the sound mixing and everything. And so what we see in the pictures and the audio, they were done at two different points of time. Like yes. you had those pictures and then you added the audio but, okay, that's interesting, because I really the thought audio, it was shot on occasions. No, 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 the audio, uh, the, the dialogues between uh, the couple yeah. are recorded in Beirut, yeah. but we have we hear other things for sure that's coming from the rushes directly, like there's a scene in the bar, and yeah, exactly. so this is coming in the rushes, and mainly those were scenes that were like by mistake taken, mm -hmm. because I was asking them usually not to comment or to the camera directly. So there is some, at some point they're looking to the camera and talking with the camera and this was like, okay, perfect. I will use this, those yeah. mistakes and uh, work on them. So, so somehow I didn't choose, like this, this is not my frame, this is not my image. Uh, this is my choice of, of the, whole, the whole rushes that I had. Like, but it's not me who filmed, uh, neither, uh, like it wasn't my decisions on set to what to film and what not to film. So you're rather taking the position of someone who's who's doing a compilation and putting it all together, like, yeah, a compilation. Yeah, it is, it is an editing of, uh, like, an, a writing through editing, mm -hmm. if you want. Um, and for sure, uh, like, even, even people while they were filming, the only thing that they knew that uh, just to film as if I am with them there. Mm -hmm. But they know nothing about the story. They, they, they knew nothing about the story, uh, neither the... All, all, all what exists now in Mondial is something totally different from, from, from the rushes that, uh, that I started working with. Hmm, interesting. And this idea of having a gay couple in there, was, was that from the beginning on there? Or was it also something that developed 
by making the movie? It was on the beginning when I started working on the movie. Mm -hmm. uh, like now, recently. Not, not when I started collecting the rushes from three years. Um, and in fact, it is Mondial 2010. In fact, it's four years, it's yeah. not three years. Because, four years, yeah. yeah uh, it's, uh, b because a big part of the rushes were shot during the Mondial 2010. And there's a scene where they're talking, they're commenting what's happening in the, in the World Cup. And, uh, and there's someone with Germany is like defending yeah. Germany. I think they're going to win. And then they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, sorry, what was I telling you? No, I was just asking you ah, yeah, the, the gay idea. couple. Uh, so, no, it, it was from the beginning and it was, um, it was, it was for sure on purpose, uh, working, like, putting a gay couple in the story and telling the story of, telling the love story of a gay couple, uh, which could be easily straight or, like, even two friends or it could be a lot of other combinations. But, in fact, um, the film by itself is very political. Uh, in a lot of uh, sense and like in many layers of it, it it's dealing with the uh, with the production of image of uh, of Palestine, dealing with the um, with the, personally, I'm trying to to approach the conflict between Palestine and Israel and the, mm -hmm. the whole Arab-Israeli conflict in a different way, um, and uh, it's talking about all those boundaries. Like as a Lebanese, I'm not allowed to go there. Uh, it's a country that just there's one border that separates uh, me from to go to Palestine. Um, so this is a very like physical geographical border, and uh, sexual identity and sexual and it's, it is also a border in um, in uh, in the Arab society somehow. Mm -hmm. So I decided to. This was one of the layers, plus the idea of. Um, in fact, the idea that uh, the film, when the film starts, we don't know where those two people are going. And we don't know that they're gay even in the beginning. And bit by bit, we understand that they're gay. And then we understand that, in fact, they're, they're in Ramallah. They're Lebanese going in Ramallah, which for a Lebanese audience, at least, uh, is impossible. Like, if you're, if you're in the audience, you're Lebanese in the audience, and you're watching this film, you would, you would see that you could be shocked a bit directly yeah. that how, how do those Lebanese are going to Ramallah? This is impossible. And uh, being a gay couple is, uh, is, is sort of still a taboo somehow in uh, Lebanese society. So I wanted somehow to shift the attention from um, what are those Lebanese doing in Ramallah to, uh, ah, they're gay, mm -hmm. so uh, what's happening and everything. So I wanted to shift this attention between those two points all the time. So that's why we never see them, uh, because to keep the focus on Ramallah as a city, mm -hmm. so what we're seeing all the time is the city, Ramallah, but all, we're always hearing their story, their love story. So And those small details of like, do we take one bed or two bed? There's a love bite and how to, how to hide it. Yeah. So it's always shifting between those two like spaces, uh, those two boundaries somehow. Um, but, yeah. but doesn't that also make the movie a bit surreal? Like if they are going there, which is actually not possible, that it, to me it sounds like something, well, not magical, but something that is just surreal. It was, it was meant to be like this, like, if I want like, to say it in, very, in a poetic way somehow, but if I'm not able to go to Ramallah, I can go through film. Like, mm -hmm. cinema can do it. Through cinema, I can do it. Through, um, through this more movie, like short movie. And is it then the same for the gay couple? That the possibility of being a gay couple there is also something which is possible in the movie as an option? Um, it is different because, like the um, the the obstacle in front going from Lebanon to to Ramallah is much bigger than the obstacle of being uh, living as a gay couple, uh, um, at least in Beirut, let's say in Lebanon. Um, and but it's but but we don't talk a lot about it. That's the problem. Um, and that's why when I, the way I'm approaching uh, the two stories, I decided not to, not to make a big deal mm -hmm. of it. 
like because even if, if there is a work that's talking about the sexuality and uh, LGBT life um, or experience in, in Beirut, for example, usually we go directly to uh, to make to, to make it a big deal and like. Uh, so, in fact, here it was like the the it was about minor details about like uh, do we have one bed or like two beds in the room, uh, how to hide a, a love bite. So, it it were those small details for me was somehow revealing and more important than talking about that. I need the right to live here and mm. I'm here. It shows the same, but without like being so um, so extravagant somehow. Or yeah, it's not that attention drawing, definitely. Yeah, and and it is somehow like I, wa I, I wanted to to banalize a bit yeah. the idea, like to banalize the idea of like a Lebanese going to Ramallah, and to banalize the idea about that their gay couple. Like there is at some like the film and how we are introduced that they are gay. It is. It, it comes very, very spontaneously, mm -hmm. and we don't like. We, we don't. Um, the film doesn't like uh, give a space for uh, for the audience like to really uh, object or like to have uh, a reaction. It's because it's, it slowly goes, and they're here and they're reacting uh, very smoothly with everything happening around them. Mm -hmm. So it is. It is this somehow. But would you say that your movie in that respect is an utopian movie? Utopian? No, no, not really. Because um, it's it's more it's more like uh, creating a space um, of of dream, but a possible dream. It's not. It's not utopia in the sense of like uh, the reality is the con the, the total contrary. Uh, um, how do you say it in English? The total um, opposite of it, or like n not if as reality is like um, the the hell and here we're showing the paradise or something like this. It it has like w what's happening in the film is uh, it's based on details that's coming from reality. Um, like I, I personally faced it sometimes, mm -hmm. like when being even around the Arab world uh, in a hotel. Uh, like we have we have this question: like, do we really take uh, one bed or not? And sometimes uh, it's just playful. Like I, I usually ask for one uh, one one big bed in the room. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just, I just, I just do it and wait for the uh, for the employer in the uh, in the, the hotel to the reaction. Mm -hmm. I just, I just look at him and smile and wait to see what <laughs> he will say. So usually, it, it's not that impossible, but uh, it has to do, yeah, with the specific uh, details and uh, and frames. Mm. Yeah, they also take it sort of playful in the movie when they're talking about that they have to mess up the other bad than if they take two, for example. Um, but about this dreamlike state, there was this one line in the movie where they were talking about, or one was always saying that Ramallah is disappearing. Yeah. I have to admit, I didn't understand what he means by that. No, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> um, in fact, a lot of people are asking about this, and this. This question is very interesting to me here in Berlin, in fact. Um, premiering, pre premiering Mondial 2010 uh, in Berlin, uh, I was waiting to see the reaction about this, this situation. Like, mainly two points, like the, the idea about that um, um, I, I'm, I can't be sure at all that the audience would know that a Lebanese is not able to go to Palestine, which which happened. Like most of the audience wasn't wasn't. Uh, I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the second point was about this notion of a city disappearing, because this has to do a lot with um, with the context from where the film is uh, is coming, and. Um, and I, on, on purpose, I decided not to explain it more. Mm -hmm. I was like, if it can open, uh, if it can um, open to some questions, 
or people to be curious to know more about it, I'm happy with this. To be, I'm, I can be satisfied with this at this point. Um, but in fact, it has to do with the whole uh, so social, political uh, uh, context from where I'm coming and how I was raised and everything. So I personally was always uh, raised uh, and I always believed in the, in the rights of Palestinians having their land and uh, in, their, in their conflict with Israel. And uh, at the same time, I was never being, being able to go to Palestine. So, um, so I, as, was, as I was saying, I wanted to go to Ramallah through the film. Mm -hmm. And uh, and in fact, um, which is in the same time, uh, I, I have a big fear that uh, if I really go there someday, if all my expectations and all what I was like, the images that I've created of this city or the whole land, uh, while not being able for years to go there, if it will crash down. Mm -hmm. So, and when, when the first time I received the rushes uh, uh, from Palestine, uh, the first thing that I, it was shocking for me, the number of settlements that are surrounding Ramallah. And there's this scene where uh, this man on the roof is showing the settlements. Yeah. Um, I, uh, like the first time I saw it, I was like really shocked. First, that they are so close. Second, that why is he like showing it like this and like, pointing it and uh, explaining it. It was like I couldn't understand uh, his point of view or like what was happening there. So, uh, and the feeling that I had is, is the city is disappearing somehow. Like the city, like bit by bit the settlements are going closer and closer and closer. At some point the, the city will disappear. There will be no city anymore called Ramallah. And uh, so I wanted to reflect this in the video, in the film. Um, through the concern of Ibrahim, one of the characters, when he says that uh, I'm feeling that the city is disappearing, uh, through this feeling of claustrophobia somehow, um, uh, because it was, it was a notion that goes back to the idea of Ibrahim didn't want to, to witness this moment. Like he preferred maybe never to come to Ramallah, mm -hmm. to not be a witness uh, for for this moment, the disappearance of a city, and in fact, here I'm I'm also working on like many layers that that for me I usually enjoy working on those layers while building the 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 plot and the script, and I'm not expecting that it is delivered all to the audience, but I can tell you a bit about like this has to do, for example, for me also with uh, with Hiroshima Mon Amour of Alain René and uh, the whole idea of witnessing uh, Hiroshima after the, the, the atomic bomb. Mm -hmm. That's why at some point in the film, uh, like I made a very small reference when he tells him, uh, I might go to the museum of Ramallah, and he tells him which museum, there's no museum in Ramallah. And in fact, it's just a script from Hiroshima Monamur when she, she told him, I went to okay. the Hiroshima uh, museum, and he told her there's no museum in Hiroshima. So, so it has to do with this, uh, to witnessing a city after a disaster, uh, witnessing a city in, in the process of, of disappearing, mm. which is by itself very, very horrible. Like, I wouldn't want to live in a city that is disappearing. This is really, mm. really uh, very, very heavy. Mm. So, yeah, that's yeah, what. Yeah, just like one of your characters doesn't want to stay there. I mean. He wants to leave all the time. That's but, it, yeah. But so the, if I got you right, the disappearing of Ramallah actually has two points. On the one hand, the Ramallah that you have in your head, or had in your head, that is sort of disappearing by the footage you get from the city itself. Somehow, yeah. And then again, the real city disappearing because of the settlements. Yeah. Okay. Is, is your movie going to be screened in, in Lebanon? Um, yeah, in fact, it was it was meant to be screened in December in a, in a festival, but the festival was postponed, so... Mm -hmm. I think it will be something around May. I'm not sure yet. What do you think what the reactions will be like? I will wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> but do you think people will talk, for example, about the fact that they go 
to, to Ramallah, even though they can't, and also about the relationship, the, the gay relationship? And for a for, for Lebanese audience, for sure, the, the idea of going to Ramallah will be very remarkable. Yeah. Um, about being, being a gay couple, um, it will depend on the screening. Like, I'm, this film is produced by, like, co-produced by uh, an association in Lebanon called uh, Ashkal Alwan. And I'm willing to, to screen it in their, in their event, festival. Um, and I guarantee somehow that the audience that will come to such events, which are very cultural and experimental, they won't have a problem with... Uh, mm -hmm. with like, it's an audience that, uh, that's open for such, uh, such stories. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, I wish you a very good screening in, in Lebanon then, and thank you very much for the interview. Thank you.